Hello? Yes, this is the Falcon speaking. Oh, Thelma. Well, I'm glad you called, but tonight is out, Angel. Uh-huh. A girl is trying to break off with her boyfriend, but he loves her too much to let her go. And it's up to me to see he doesn't love her to death. <laughs> This is Ed Hurley, he friends, inviting you on behalf of the Kraft Foods Company to listen to The Adventures of the Falcon, starring Les Demon. You met the Falcon first in his best-selling novels. Then you saw him in his thrilling motion picture series. Now join him on the air when the Falcon solves... The Case of the Gangster's Girl. Before we join the Falcon in his latest adventure, I'd like to tell you folks about Kraft's golden cheese food, Velveeta. Velveeta is such good eating. Just taste that grand, rich, yet mild cheddar cheese flavor. And Velveeta is so good for you. It's rich in important food values from milk itself. For swell-tasting snacks, for good, hearty sandwiches, for thrifty, easy, hot dishes, it's smart to keep stocked with Velveeta. Get it tomorrow in the handy quarter-pound package or in the economical two-pound loaf. The cheese food of top quality. Velveeta is made only by Kraft. And now, the case of the gangster's girl. It's late Sunday night in New York. Mort Potter, a local gambler, is returning home after hitting a few of the night spots when a large sedan pulls alongside on a deserted street. Potter pulls over to let the second car by, but instead of passing, it starts crowding him, forcing him toward the curb. Hey! Hey, what's the idea? Why don't you look where you... Hello. Oh, I'm Murray. Hello, Potter. Come on, will you? Yeah. I'm disappointed in you, Potter. Hilliard tells me you turned down our proposition. Yeah, well, it's just... Well, I, I... I thought... He didn't think so good. Come on, get out. Hey, what's the idea? Get out, or do I have to... Oh. Get out. All right, Hilliard, hold him. Yeah, Mary. Look, look, fellas, if, if you'll just let me... Get out. Oh, hey, cut it! Oh, yeah! Oh! Don't you believe in knocking? If you want privacy, keep your door locked. I thought it was. Well, you should be more careful, Sue. Well, where do you think you're going? Mm, little trip. Looks more like a big trip. You've cleaned the closet. If I want to go away... From me? You wouldn't do that, baby doll. I saw the paper. That man has three broken ribs. What man? You know what man. Everybody knows you did it. Baby doll, don't take everything so serious. Three broken ribs are serious. Are they your ribs? You said easy money. Well, I didn't like it from the start. But you insisted, what's the harm? Well, when you start beating up people, that's harm. Next, it'll be killing. Or maybe that's happened already, too. Now, look, I don't want to talk about it. You're staying here, understand? No, Murray. I said you're staying here. Now, start unpacking. No. Start unpacking. <laughs> now, hurry up. Wanting to go away. You don't know how lucky you are, baby doll. I'm going to be big in this town, real big. I liked you when you weren't going to be big. Now, don't talk dumb. And quit your bawling. I'm doing a town tonight. I don't want your eyes all red. Why can't you leave me alone? <laughs> Sometimes I ask myself that. I just can't, that's all. You know, you ought to be flattered. As soon as Hilliard told me you'd been over to the airline ticket office, I'd come right over. Oh, Hilliard. How did he know? Well, he keeps his eyes open. Have you got him spying on me? Well, he just likes to look after my interests, that's all. He just likes to make trouble, that's all. Oh, he's okay. Like a rattlesnake, he's okay. And one of these days, he'll make trouble for you, too. Don't make me laugh. You'll see. Things aren't bad enough. You have to have worms around. All right. You don't like them? I'll can them. Anything for you, baby. Yeah, except getting out of the whole dirty business. Except that. Or letting me out. Oh, you don't want out, baby doll. Not if it means leaving me. Hmm. Now, come on, honey. Get those bags unpacked. Hello? 
Hello? Is that Michael Waring, the Falcon? Yes, this is the Falcon speaking. I want to hire you. Well, considering the price of groceries, I want to be hired. Who are you? Oh, uh, Sue Sanders. Mm-hmm. And why do you want a detective? Or don't you want to say over the phone? It has to be over the phone. I don't dare come to see you. I might be followed. I'm calling from a phone booth. And I'll mail you the money for your fee. All right. What do I do to earn it? I want to get rid of my boyfriend. Rid of him? Yeah. I'm hoping you can have him put in jail. Oh, for a minute you had me worried. Well, you may still have something to worry about. He plays rough. What's his name? Murray Ross. Oh, I see what you mean. I've just been reading about him. Yeah, it's in the papers. The police questioned him, but they couldn't prove anything. But I know he beat up that man because he wouldn't join Murray's outfit. They want to corner all the numbers men in town. Who's they? Murray and Al Burkett. Uh-oh. Is Burkett in this deal? He is the deal. Murray just runs the West End for him. Uh-huh. And just where do you fit? I don't fit anymore. That's just the trouble. I've been going with Murray, but I want out. And he has other plans for you, huh? That's right. My only hope is for him to be picked up. But so far, nobody's been able to prove anything that would stick. What makes you think I will? Well, I have to do something. I've heard a lot about you, and I've got to get away. i simply got to. Even if it means sending your boyfriend to jail? He hasn't left me any choice. Hmm. Well, I'll do what I can for you, but uh, how do I get in touch with you? I'll have to get in touch with you. I'll call you from time to time. Right. Can you tell me anything that might help? Well, nothing more than I already have, and the police already know all of that. The problem's getting proof. If I learn anything, I'll let you know. Now I gotta go. He's expecting me for dinner. Well, have fun. Are you kidding? No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> it's just the way I'll be if Murray finds out about this call. Goodbye, Mr. Waring. <laughs> Come on, baby doll, let's have a smile. I'm trying, Murray. Well, you shouldn't have to try. What's the matter? You know what's the matter. Ah, look, baby doll, I know it's a little rough getting organized, but everybody's just about lined up now. No more knuckle deals. Now it's a business, just like any business. I'll have an office, nine to five, you'll see. Yeah, first it's getting people in line, and then it's keeping them in line. They'll stay in line. Not because they want to. You enjoy throwing your weight around, Murray. You know you do. You like people to be afraid of you. Makes you feel important. You have to pretend to be a big shot because you know you're just Burkett's errand boy. Well, you... Look out, you'll knock over the champagne. Just Burkett's errand boy, huh? Listen, baby doll, I'm going to tell you something. I run the West End, see? All the collections are turned over to me. And you pass them on to Burkett with a little cut for yourself. Little cut? Listen, Burkett don't know all the angles. I got two sets of books. If Burkett knew what to take in this part of town, really comes to it with curl his hair. I'm taking him but plenty. And when he finds out... Who's going to tell him? Maybe he won't have to be told. He's good at arithmetic. Yeah, but he can't figure what he can't see, baby doll. Now, come on. Stop worrying, will you? Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, I guess it is. Just depends upon what you call all right. Yes, what is it? Murray Ross is here to see you, Mr. Burkett. Oh, good. I've been waiting. Send him in. Yeah. Okay, go on in. Right. Hello, Burkett. I uh, understand you wanted to see me. Yes, I like to check up from time to time. You know how it is. Uh, sit down. Cigarette? No, thanks. How's Sue? Baby... D oh, she's all right. That's good. Uh, anything special you wanted to see me about? As a matter of fact, yes, there is. Shoot. Uh, don't give me ideas. Huh? Do you take me for a fool, Murray? I don't know what you mean. I think you do. But just so there won't be any question, I'll lay it on the line. Cards on the table. To put it bluntly, Murray, you've been holding out on me, shortchanging me. What? Who told you? Never mind. I have sources of information. Well, your sources are talking through their hat. Perhaps. Won't take long to check. Want to see the books? Which set? Are you... You got the wrong idea. I think not, but uh, as I said, I'll check. But not books. There are other methods, more reliable. Okay, you'll find out. I'm sure I will, my boy. And while I'm working on it, you'll stay here where I can keep an eye on you. Here? Yes, house guest. The boys will see you're comfortable. Uh, What's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. You're too warm? I see you're perspiring. Shall I open a window? I'm getting out of here. What? Going somewhere, mister. 
Well, I, uh... Close the door. Yeah. All right, now come back here and sit down, boy. We've got to finish our conversation. What are you going to do? Ah, yes. What am I going to do? Let's discuss that, shall we? <laughs> This is Ed Hurley here again, friend. And while Mr. Burkett is talking about what he's going to do, I have a little suggestion for you ladies who wonder what you're going to do for some interesting Lenten menu ideas. And my suggestion is this. Just get a two-pound loaf of Kraft smooth-melting pasteurized processed cheese food, Velveeta. You can melt Velveeta for smooth, delicious cheese sauce that'll add extra goodness to vegetables or seafood or rice or just plain toast. For a fine main dish. And it's such an easy sauce to make. All you do is melt a half pound of Velveeta in the top of your double boiler. Notice how smooth it melts without any lumps at all. Then slowly stir in a quarter of a cup of milk, season to your taste, and there you have it. A delicious cheese sauce with a wonderful, rich, yet mild cheddar cheese flavor. A flavor that everyone, the youngsters and grandma included, will enjoy often. And it's a wholesome dish because Velveeta is so rich in important food values from milk. So whether you melt Velveeta for a swell cheese sauce or slice it thick for hearty sandwiches, you'll find Velveeta is a mighty handy helper, Mother, especially now, during Lent. Get a two-pound loaf tomorrow, won't you? It's America's favorite cheese food, the one and only Velveeta, made by Kraft. Now, back to the adventures of the Falcon. It's a couple of hours since Al Burkett revealed he knew about Murray's double dealing. And now there's a knock at the door of Sue Sanders' apartment. Sue goes to the door, opens it, and finds herself facing Murray. Hello, baby doll. Surprised to see me? No. Should I be? <laughs> Look at him coming in. All right. Why are you locking the door? I've just come from Burkett. Oh? He knows about the finagling. How'd he find out? How'd he find out? That's rich. Well, he, he let you go. Yeah. Yeah, he let me go. Says I can still be useful, but now he's going to keep his eye on me. Won't that be real cozy? Somebody's going to pay for this, baby doll. Well, you don't think that Somebody I... Somebody tipped Burkett. He didn't have proof, but he knew about the deal. Well, if he didn't have the proof... He could always get proof once he was wise, so I had to come across... Come here, baby doll. What do you want? I just want you to come get here. Sorry. Why did you tip Burkett? Not much, you didn't. I tell you, and right away, Burkett knows all you about it. You believe me. Yeah? Oh, sorry, don't. You little double cross. Tell him, I swear it. Then who did? How about Hilliard? Hey. Hilliard, huh? Why should he? I told you he was dangerous. He spied on me for you, well, he'll spy on you for Burkett. Get in good with the big boys. That's his motto. Maybe. That must be it. It would sell out his own brother if it would help him get ahead. Well, we'll see, baby doll. We'll see. Hello. Hello, Mr. Waring. This is Sue Sanders. Have you found out anything for me? I'm working on it. I've got a phony deal cooked up. If I can get Murray to go for it, I may be able to hook him. Well, I hope you can work fast. He thinks I've double-crossed him. Does he know about me? No, it's something else. All right, I'll put on the heat. But I think I'd better try the act out on Hilliard first. Hilliard? Yeah, I have an idea he's more gullible than Murray. If I can sell him, Murray's a cinch. Well, anything you think best, Tony, hurry. <laughs> You can at least double your take if you work with my crown. How do you know what my take is? Well, it's all down there in black and white. I'm not admitting those figures are right. In fact, I'm not admitting I have anything to do with the numbers. All right, look, I don't blame you for being cagey, but think it over, Hilliard. If you want to do business, you know where to reach me. Okay, Wary. But I'd like an answer by tomorrow. We want to get moving. Yeah. And uh, if I were you, I wouldn't mention this to anyone. You 
think I'm crazy? It's always a possibility. Well, now I've got... Look out, hell you at the window! <laughs> Driver, did you see anybody come out of that alley just now? Uh-huh. He just got in a red sedan, drove off. You see where he went? Turned right at the corner. All right, let's see if we can catch him. Okay. Hey, what's it all about? Did you hear those shots? Shots? I thought it was backfire. Backfire never killed anybody. Oh, somebody's dead? Yeah, very. Hey, I don't think I like this. Well, I'm not exactly turning cartwheels myself. You said red sedan. Is that it up ahead? Yeah, could be. All right, step on it. Yeah. Uh-uh. Sees us coming. He's starting to speed. Well, catch him. Well, I'll try, but I'm just as happy if I don't. He just turned left. Yeah, yeah, I see. Hang on. Here we go. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Uh-uh. Just got through the light. It's changing. Well, lean on your horn and go through on the red. Now, look, if I get a ticket... I'll I... stand the fine. Okay. Do you stay in the hospital, Bell's toe? Yes, and the funeral expenses. Just keep going. Yeah, you say the nicest thing. He's taking another turn. Yeah. Hey, he'll never make it at that speed. I told you, he's going to crash. Well, end of the line, mister. Uh, Certainly looks like it for him. Hello, Murray. Do I know you? Name's Mike Waring. Oh, the Falcon. Now, you see, you do know me. Of you. What do you want? Well, I got a proposition you might be interested in. No, thanks. How do you know? Till you hear it. I said I've heard of you. I didn't like what I heard. Well, neither did Hilliard, but he was willing to look over my wares. Oh? You talked to Hilliard? Uh-huh. What did he say? Said he'd consider it. I'm not surprised. Now, I know I'm not interested. You don't care for Hilliard, huh? I don't care for rats. How much don't you care for them? I? Huh? Well, just wondering if you'd try to exterminate them... What's that supposed to mean? Well, somebody exterminated Hilliard. And since you called him a rat, exterminate. You mean he's dead? That's right. So that's her angle. Whose angle? My. Uh, nothing. Anyhow, it's not going to work. I can prove where I've been all afternoon. Yes, but this job was done by a professional trigger. You could have hired him. Are they picked up who done it? Picked up the pieces. Well, he wasn't working for me. But I got an idea. I'll be seeing you, Yeah, uh, Just a minute, Murray. I got things to do out of my way. Yeah, well, first... I, I said w- out of my way. No. Okay, if that's the way you want it, maybe this will keep you around a while. Oh, Mr. Waring, you shouldn't have come here. I said I'd call you. Well, I didn't want to wait. But if Murray comes... He won't. How do you know? The police are keeping him busy. Oh, you've had him arrested? Yes, temporarily. They're holding him for questioning. Well, they've questioned him before. They can't prove anything. That's why I hired you. Well, they never questioned him about this before. About what? Hilliard's murder. What? Has Hilliard been murdered? Uh Uh-huh. And when I told Murray about it, I got the idea he was coming for you. That's the reason I tried to put him on ice for a while. Would you think they'll be able to hold him long? I'm afraid not. Unless you can give us a little something to go on. Like what? Like a motive, for example. Now, do you know any reason why Murray would want to kill Hilliard? Now, look, it's going to be bad enough for me if Murray gets out of this. I'll only make it worse by saying anything, make him that much angrier. Well, maybe he won't get out of it, if you tell enough. But this is murder. Yeah, I want him locked up, but the electric chair, that's something else. It's your heart of his, Angel. And if he's a murderer... I I don't know what to say. Say whatever you know. Well, I don't know much. Look, did Murray have a motive for killing Hilliard? Well, yeah... I guess he did. All right, what was it? I told you Murray thought I double-crossed him. Yes, but you didn't say what about. Well, he'd been holding back some of Burkett's money. Burkett found out about it. Murray thought I told him. I said it must have been Hilliard. Mm -hmm. Well, that could do it. Anything else you know? I don't think so. Well, I'll call that much into the police. Then I'll go see Burkett. Now that the heat's on, I've got to find out what's cooking and make sure it's not your goose. Yes? Mike Waring is here. He wants to see you. Waring, huh? Good. Tell him to come in. Yeah. All right, Waring. Well, thanks, sweetheart. Hello, Burkett. I've been wanting to meet you. So I understand. You've been snooping around. What's it about? Snooping? Asking questions. Oh. You hadn't dropped in today. I was just about to look you up. Well, I saved you the trouble. All right. Now let's have it. 
I'd like to know where I stand. Why the interest in me? Well, I'll tell you, I'm interested in the numbers game. It can be very profitable. Yes, that's what I hear. Mm-hmm, that's what you know. You're in it up to your ears. <laughs> All right, if you like. I won't deny it, but it'll take some proving. The DA's been working on it for months. I don't have to prove it except to my own satisfaction. I'm not trying to convince a court. Who are you trying to convince? I told you, myself. Just wanted to make sure you were the boy to hit with my proposition. Proposition? Yeah, there's a new outfit coming into this game. They sent me on ahead to line things up. We're big, lots of backing. Now, we could run you out, but we prefer to do business with you. To your advantage and ours. Whose outfit is it? Well, we'll get around to that when you join. But now you deal with me. Look, friend, if I was up to my ears in a racket, as you say, why would I want to deal with a character like the Falcon who's so chummy with the law? <laughs> I'm sure I've been chummy with the law. That's why the organization wanted me. A thing like that can come in handy. Now, look, I don't blame you for being cautious, but I've got the whole thing worked out on paper. Dollars and cents. Can't hurt to look at it. Oh, can't hurt. Be glad to look it over. Let's have it. Well, I uh, don't have it with me. I left it at Hilliard's. Hilliard's? What were you doing there? Well, I didn't think it was any use hitting you until I found out how your boys took to this idea. So I talked to Hilliard and Murray Ross. Oh. What did they say? Why not ask them? Don't think I won't. I'm supposed to come here tonight. If they've been holding hands with you... So you admit they work for you. That's no secret, Waring. I have an investment business. <laughs> Still don't trust me, do you, Burkett? Why should I? You shouldn't. But I'm always willing to look over any proposition. Mm -hmm. I'll send one of the boys over to Hilliard's to pick up your papers. Yes, do that. I'm sure you'll find them interesting. What I want to know is just how interesting did Hilliard and Murray find them? Well, I'm afraid you'll never find out from Hilliard. Why? Haven't you heard? Heard what? Hilliard's been murdered. What? Yes, I thought you knew. Oh, Hilliard talks to you, and right away he gets himself murdered. What's the matter? Did he turn you down? He said he'd think it over. And... Who are you working for, Waring? I told you, that's not for publication yet. I'm asking. <laughs> Sorry. You know, sometimes silence can be very unhealthy. Why? You're just a businessman. Investments. You wouldn't try any rough stuff. That's right, Waring. I wouldn't. But you can always have an accident. Can't you? This is Ed Hurley here again, friends. Well, Mike won't tell Mr. Burkett what he wants to know, but I do want to tell you something I'm sure you mothers especially will want to know. It's how to get the finest cheese food you can buy for your family. It's simple, really. Just be sure you buy Velveeta. Kraft's delicious pasteurized processed cheese food. Velveeta tastes good, and it's so good for you, too. For Velveeta is rich in important food values from milk, and it's as digestible as milk itself. So it's perfect any time for snacks, sandwiches, and grand hot dishes. Try it, won't you, Mother? Make Velveeta your handy helper. Just be sure you get genuine Velveeta. The pasteurized processed cheese food of top quality, made by Kraft. Now, back to the adventures of the Falcon. It's 20 minutes since Mike Waring left Al Burkett. Now he's back at Sue's with a plan to wrap up the case. Now look, Angel, I want you to call Burkett. Ask him to come over here. Why? I want to get him away from his gorillas. He was expecting Murray and Hilliard tonight. Now, he knows Hilliard can't make it, but he's still waiting for Murray. He knows you're Murray's girl, so maybe he'll come if he thinks you have an important message for Murray. He'd probably want me to go to his place. Well, you can be expecting a phone call from Murray and don't want to leave till you get it. All right, I'll try. But what happens when he gets here? Well, the only way to clinch anything against these boys is to get one of them on record against the other. I think I know how to do it now, and it ought to work. Well, it better. After all, Mr. Waring, I hired you to get me out of danger. Not into it. Come in, Mr. Burkett. Right, oh, Sue. Where's... Oh, Waring. Hello, Burkett. Oh, she didn't tell me you'd be here. I thought Murray might be here. What did you want with him? You said you'd already talked over your proposition with him. No, it wasn't about that. I want to talk to him about the murder. So? 
What did he think he could tell you? Well, as a matter of fact, it... Murray. Well, what do you know? Right on cue. Come on in, Murray. What is this? What are you doing here? Waiting for you. I didn't think the police would hold you. But maybe they will next time around. Police? So that's your game, Waring. The proposition was just a bluff. I thought as much. As Burkhead, I've been trying to find some way of proving what everybody knows about you fellas. It's not easy. But maybe it won't be necessary if I can pin the murder on you instead. On who? Who do you think, Murray? You tell me. Well, Burkett found out you had double-crossed him. Haven't you wondered why he didn't do something about it? The only reason you're not on a slab with Hilliard is that you make such a nice patsy. Now, how's that? Hilliard blabbed on you. Gives you a good motive. So it's safe for Burkett to have Hilliard rubbed out with you around to take the rap. What rubbish? I don't know, Burkett. I've been wondering how come you turned me loose. Well, I told you I, I needed you. Maybe. And maybe Waring's making sense. Now, you're going to tell me. I told you. I... No. Come on, Burkett. Talk. But you idiot, can't you see what Waring's trying to do? You're going to talk. Jury will, Murray, at headquarters. That's where you're going as soon as you fellas get through dancing. And just in case you have any doubts about it, this gun ought to remove them. So let me know when you're ready, will you? Well, Angel, before they got through, they certainly spilled plenty on each other. He won't have much to worry about from Murray anymore. He has a long stretch ahead for acteering. And Burkett is going up for murder. But why did Burkett have Hilliard killed? Hilliard was helping him. He told me about Murray's cheating. Yes, that's just it. You see, Hilliard was a stool pigeon. He squealed on you to Murray, squealed on Murray to Burkett. So Burkett reasoned he might just as likely squeal on him to the law. I see. Now, Burkett's motto was never trust a stoolie. Makes sense. And how did you know that he was behind the murder? Well, he pretended he didn't know Hilliard had been killed. But when I told him I'd left some papers he might be interested in at Hilliard's, he said he'd send one of the boys over to pick them up. But since he was supposed to be expecting Hilliard, why didn't he simply call him to bring the papers along? Well, of course. He must have known Hilliard wouldn't be coming. That's right. Because he knew he was dead. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm glad it's over. And I'm certainly glad you got me free of Murray. <laughs> and believe me, I'm going to be careful who I start going out with from now on. That's a very good idea. Of course. A private detective ought to be safe enough. Uh-oh. Don't look at me. What's the matter? Uh, you had your last boyfriend sent to jail. I'm going to be careful, too. Good night, Angel. <laughs> Friends, America's defense program has placed on the Red Cross one of the greatest responsibilities it has ever had to assume. Now, in addition to day-to-day -day aid to the sick and injured, the Red Cross must extend its services to the men of our growing armed forces in camps and hospitals, at home and overseas. Now, too, the Red Cross must recruit, train, and equip millions of home defense volunteers in first aid and home nursing. And the Red Cross system of blood banks must be expanded to meet greater civilian and military needs. That's why Red Cross needs your help. By giving as generously as you can to the Red Cross, you are helping to mobilize for the defense of your family, your community, your country. <laughs> The Case of the Unsilent Butler. The Case of the Unsilent Butler. That's the title of next week's adventure of the Falcon, when Mike Waring learns that the way some people get a bang out of life is by using a gun. So be sure to listen at this same time next week to another exciting adventure of the Falcon, brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company. The adventures of the Falcon are based on the famous character created by Drexel Drake, produced by Bernard L. Schubert, Written today by Jerome Epstein and directed by Richard Lewis. Music was by Arlo. Les Damon was starred as the Falcon with Jan Minor as Sue. Be sure to hear The Great Gildersleeve next Wednesday evening over most of these stations. In next Wednesday's broadcast, Gildy comes face to face with an hilarious problem and solves it in a way that will keep you laughing for days. Remember the show, the time, and the place, The Great Gildersleeve, next Wednesday evening over most of these stations. Check your local newspaper for time of broadcast. This is Ed Hurley. He's speaking for the Kraft Foods Company. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. Mm.